All right, let's get back to the weather. That has been certainly the biggest story oh. of the day. What an awful Friday it was for many people. Things beginning to settle down? Yes, Monument Circle actually looks much more calm yeah, than it did sure earlier does. today when we had sideways rain and then right. at times this evening some sideways snow north of Indianapolis. Let's go back out live to downtown where we currently have a temperature of 37 degrees. The temperatures will continue to fall. It is going to be a colder start tomorrow. It is still breezy. Winds are out of the west northwest at 23 at times still gusting over 30 miles per hour. 43 37. Not much of a change between the low and the high because of the clouds and the rain we had all day. Officially in Indianapolis 2.21 inches of rain and I've got some rain totals elsewhere. You can see widespread inch and a half to three inches and a few places across the southwestern part of our viewing area up over four inches of rain. So on live Doppler 13 radar. All of these areas that are outlined in green, these are flood warnings thanks to low land flooding. So be prepared if you are traveling and run into some high water, turn around, find another place to go. We do have still some spotty rain and snow showers, mainly north of Indianapolis from Logansport, west of Kokomo, Frankfurt into Levin, and this is it. The majority of the storm system is now along the east coast with the rain, the wind, and some heavy snow. Wind reports, lots of them across parts of Indianapolis. Indiana, Kentucky into southern Ohio. Several reports of tornadoes south of the Ohio River as well. We still have some gusty winds up over 30 miles per hour. 33 the current gust in Indianapolis and Richmond. 31 the current gust in Bloomington. The good news here, those winds are already starting to diminish. So we've seen that high wind warning and the wind advisory dropped early for a good part of central Indiana. Does continue through the early morning hours for our far eastern counties. Better news, we've got some sunshine on the way for the weekend. A cold start 29 at 8 a.m. We're at 42 midday. High temperatures on Saturday will be in the low 50s. We go even warmer for the end of the weekend. Your Sunday forecast also includes some sunshine, but we'll be close to 50 midday and highs on Sunday afternoon in the upper 50s. That warming trend does continue through the early part of next week. We get as warm in this seven day as 68 on Monday, but it is looking much, much colder. And you can see that start to arrive Tuesday into Wednesday and Thursday. Highs only in the 40s and then later Thursday into Friday, a rain snow mix and Friday doesn't look like we make it out of the 30s. So we do have some colder times ahead and those arrive toward the end of next week. It has been a powerful storm system we've been tracking. Nearly one in five people in the U.S. are under that threat of severe storms as we enter the weekend. Hundreds of thousands in five states already without power. Oh my God. Storms that caused flying debris, damaged marinas, knocked out power in Texas are moving quickly east. In a matter of 20 seconds, it was gone. There is a certainty of severe storms and significant wind gusts with possibilities of both flooding and tornadoes. Kentucky's governor put out a warning to be on the lookout for tornadoes, the kind of sights Harry Lincoln saw here in Indiana. Linda wife was standing at the window watching and all of a sudden everything just kind of got dark and started. It was just whirling around. You couldn't even see. We saw the damage to this Evansville church earlier. The Lincolns got married there more than a half century ago. We got a lot of damage and don't know where to go to get it cleaned up. Cleanup is a major issue in California where state water officials report statewide snowpack is averaging 190% compared to normal for the date. It has collapsed roofs, left firefighters to try to shovel out hydrants, and stranded people for days. As the roads are plowed, you still have a 10-foot berm of snow that you need to make it over. Detroit faces winter storm warnings. Part of New England could get up to a foot and a half of snow. Millions in the path of severe weather, which has left few untouched.